welcome guys so in this section i'm going to show you how to handle relative locators using selenium so these are the topics which are introduced from selenium 4.0 version so if you are working on selenium 3.x any version you don't have these features available right so from 4 they are introduced and these locators are very very friendly to identify our desired objects so i'll show you the demo with some real time examples on how to handle these relative locators in your code so that way you will know how to use it whenever it is required so this is the syntax but at this time you really don't understand how this works so let me take one application and then talk about this more i am back on to my website so there are a lot of practice projects here for us to practice so there are three web applications exclusively available for practice and let me choose one out of three right so this is one of the app e-commerce app where you can submit and buy the products so right now we were just introduced to fill this form so one thing what you can do here right click on any edit box so this is the name edit box which clearly have name attribute now if you are asked to get the label of this name edit box so this is the label right name so when you spy on that you see that there are no attributes available except a tag name so how would you uniquely identify this name attribute okay so if your goal is to extract the label text so you don't have any other way except tag name so one way what you can do is you can start uh, traversing from parent to child and build X path. Okay, that's the one way. But using this friendly locators, which we call as relative locators, you can do it in very, very simple way. So first of all, let's see what is this above method. Okay, so I know that this edit box have some unique property to identify. Okay, so here name is there. So I can use this to identify this edit box. And our desired label text is present above this, right? So I can write a code that first of all, find this edit box, which is unique. And then above, go and find label. Okay, so this way, I can identify the relative element of this label, which have unique locator. Using that locator, I will traverse, right? So we have seen this kind of examples like parent to child traverse or... A sibling traverse but this is more friendly than that let me show you so this is a syntax so driver dot find element right so you want to find element with the tag name so right now this locators only support the tag name locator okay not any other locators so we are trying to find element with tag name so in our case our ultimate goal is to find this label so we have label as the tag name right Right, so like this I can put. So Selenium first knows that it has to find element with the tag name label. So if you try in a crow path with this label tag name, there are total 10 tag names are there. You see that every label have the same tag name called label. Right, so how to tell Selenium to identify uniquely this label, right? For that, this is the relative. So there is a method called above. And you can give what web element above this tag name is present. Okay. So this is a web element which you think it's a unique, right? Let's say we will capture this web element. Let's say it is a name edit box. So I would write it here, name edit box. So now you read this line again. Find element with the tag name label. There are many. It's confused. But again, you are filtering by saying that find tag name label which is present above name edit box. So that means Selenium first of all will find name edit box. Above name edit box, it will try to find element which have tag name label. So above name edit box, you immediately will have one tag name which have label which is name. So this way you can uniquely identify it by filtering by writing relative locators like this. If it is above and any other web element or below any other web element. Okay, this is a cool feature, right? 
So let me put it in practical way in Eclipse and I will show how to do that. Right, so these are the common steps to invoke Chrome browser by setting up system property and give Chrome driver exe location. Next. So this is our URL and then driver dot get. Okay. So first of all, let's try to capture the web element of this name edit box. So when you spy here, you have name is an attribute. So I can build CSS. Tag name is optional, right? Attribute equals to value. Perfect. You see that when you hover it, the red element icon you are seeing. So that means it's identifying the first element. So though it is written in two elements, you need not worry because your actual edit box is highlighting on first element only. Selenium by default identifies first element if there are multiple elements written. Okay. So that's why so driver dot find element by dot CSS selector. Right. So this is one web element. So I will actually capture this in one variable say name edit box. Awesome. Now our web element is ready. Okay. Tab so that everything comes in aligned way. So now I would write that relative locator. So my ultimate goal is to grab this label, right? Find element. So here you should not use by dot tag name. The syntax for relative is with tag name. You can get it from the word document which I am showing here with tag name. So driver dot find element with tag name and what is the tag name? So we need to find the tag name of this label which is nothing but label only. Apart from this tag name we don't have any other information available. But if you run until this step there are a lot of labels are present. So selenium is hard to identify your desired one. So by default, Eclipse is not providing you suggestion to import any package to fix this error. So there is a reason for this. So Selenium guys have provided this package as a static. So any static package cannot be identified with auto suggestion. Okay, so that's why it's not happening here. So Eclipse will never auto suggest you if that package is in static mode. So you have to manually write that step here. I have that package details. You just need to paste it there. So this is the package. You see that there is a word called static and they were embedded that code in this package called relative locator. So just copy this and have it in your code and that's it. The error will go away. Okay. Now find element with tag name. We are now clearly telling that this tag name selenium should find above this edit box. So if you clearly tell this way, then Selenium will just go and find exactly on the above of that edit box to see if there are any labels present. If there are multiple labels present, it will return the first label what it sees. Okay, so in our case, there should be only one label above this, isn't it? So dot, you can say get text. What happens when you write this now? Um, once it found that label above that and you are performing get text action so that text will be extracted from here. Okay. So let me print it in the console so that you can see the output. It's very simple. You just need to understand the syntax and concept behind it. And it's up to you uh, to decide in which case you want to use it. So in our case, we just realized that there is no property which is unique. One way is to write, start uh, writing from parent to child traverse sex path. But if you think that you can use this relative locator, it's very easy than that. Okay, so find out the unique one and then use the above. Let me run this test and see how that goes. The output of this code should be the name label, isn't it? So that's what we are targeting, right? So it's landing on the page. And that's it. It's done. And you see that 
name is successfully printed in the output by using this above locator right similarly you can do for all these locators so let me do very quick for below in this lecture right we have seen above right next um so if you scroll down so there is a date of birth field so first of all let's try to identify this label uniquely and we will say that find out this edit box this time let's try to find out this edit box which is below of this date of birth let's do in reverse way so right now we have for this label we have some unique locator right previously we don't have that so first of all let's pick this as our web element and we would say that find out element with the tag name input which is present below this date of birth so that you will be able to identify this and we will send some information into this date of birth field okay um so first of all i would start saying let me create web element first so this is a relative locator in this case right by dot again css selector attribute for equals to date of birth css basically i'm writing the css and this way you can uniquely identify this label so this time we were just doing flipping and label is now considered as a web element and edit box is something which we are trying to figure out assuming that this edit box do not have any unique properties we can still figure out by using this label so this label have unique properties so i would simply say um date of birth is the web element right okay so driver dot find element with tag name make sure that you understand it supports only tag name for now okay so tag name what we need for this edit box is the input because we are trying to find out this in input and all the dates here present are not unique let's assume that they are not unique so that's why we were doing it in another way okay so when you give the step until here selenium will identify with input tags there are a lot of input tags but now you are writing the real logic once you found that input find this input only below this date of birth web element so this date of birth is nothing but this label right so now we are clearly telling that find out the input which is coming exactly under this below this label so we have already captured this web element and whatever the immediately input it appears then it captures that so here if you want to send information into that edit box you can send anything something like this okay or this accepts this format right let me write it in date format okay so i would run this test at this time it should identify that specific date of birth field through label relative locator which is below and it should handle accordingly you see that it's great so we have successfully handled this without writing exact locator and just relying on this below relative locator okay so this is how you can use above and below relative locators in your code and play around that so there are two more relative locators left which is left and right which we will be talking in our next lecture thank you